I'm Patrick McKee with your Wednesday headlines from 10 News. Another member of President Trump's staff now has COVID-19. That brings the number of positive tests linked to the White House to at least 15. The top Defense Department official tested positive for COVID-19 as well. Several members of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, including the Chiefs of the Air Force, Navy and Space Operations, have been tested and are quarantining until the results come back. Tonight is the vice presidential debate. Plexiglass dividers have been put up. Democratic vice presidential candidate Kamala Harris requested the additional safety measure because of Vice President Mike Pence's potential exposure to President Trump. Candidates will also be 12 feet apart. The White House says all of the vice president's tests have come back negative. You can watch that debate live tonight at 9 right here on WSLS 10. Roanoke City's latest police academy is facing unprecedented challenges. The class of 12 recruits is about half the size the department was hoping for and needs to get closer to being fully staffed. Historically, many recruits don't make it through the entire academy. If these 12 do graduate, the department will still be about 13 officers short. For the latest news, weather and sports on the go, head to WSLS.com and the 10 News Mobile app. Have a great day.